so hello I'm Corey in this video I'll introduce to you uh, the concept of um, georeferencing a map and then after there we will see how you can digitize the, the georeferenced image and I'll also show you how to produce structural data that you've been collecting during the mapping so to georeference what you do, you have to know where your mm -hmm. scanned image is. In our case, it is in the desktop, uh, in a folder called the students. Therefore, I'll navigate to where the image is. And uh, here, you see, we don't see any image here. Uh, so I'll choose the file of type. I say raster image. And uh, here is our map. It's called the trimmed map. I'll open it. You see the table already over it I'll say yes because we had already georeferenced it um, so it gives you two options one you just want maybe to view it and then you close or you want to register so I'll choose register you see um, after after that what I'll do is choose the projection that I want to use to georeference the image I'll go to projection and for our case I'll use ARC1960 and um, the zone is 37 south hemisphere and then I'll click OK then you choose the first point that you want to start with and uh, I prefer georeferencing going to to the right that means going clockwise so I'll add the first point uh, you can zoom out to see your uh, coordinates clearly but uh, zooming in is better because it gives you it, it makes you more accurate when you putting your point therefore I'll put a point here say add uh, that is the first point which is this one see and uh, I'll put the coordinates as they look here. So in X I'll put 251 and uh, 500. And in Y I'll put 90, 35, 400. And uh, click OK. That will be the first point. But you can you can zoom and try to see if uh, you have place the point proper I'll just leave with that I think we can survive with that and then you'll go to the second point um, the second point which is this one let me zoom a little bit uh, you see so you got 252 300 and here you have um, you have um, I'll add the second point which is on X I'll put 2 52 300 and um, on the Y I'll put 90 35 400 and then I'll click OK second point added I'll go to the third point the third point you just select where you want to put the third point so the third point is this one and uh, let's see what the nothing reads uh, 935 then I'll say add I'll add another point here and then on X I'll put 252 300 because it is the same point on top and uh, the nothing has changed there uh, is 90 35 000 click ok then go to the last point you can add as many points as you want but uh, I always add four points so let me see what it reads here reads that one and um, I'll add another point here. Add, add a point. 
So what is nothing? What is easting? It will be 251 because it is the first point here. Yeah? And then uh, then you will add another point which is um it's 90 35 zero, zero, zero. Click OK. Then I'll click OK and see what it does. Click OK. Uh, if you were georeferen uh, if your georeferencing is good, uh, the error in pixel should be reading zero, but I think we can survive with this one. And then uh, you click OK. Ule. There you go, your image has been uh, georeferenced. Uh, just let me see the cursor location and see if what what it will read is exactly what we see. Um, for example, let me zoom here and see if the reading is. So at this point, it should be reading 903500. You see 903500 and the 251 almost um, 251 almost 500. See, so our georeferencing is good. So if you like this video, just put a comment, and like and share.